We're going to wait for some people to join us today. We're getting ready for dinner. And uh, Costco finally has some what looks like decent watermelons in stock. This little girl loves watermelon. It's her absolute favorite. And so um, instead of spending crazy amounts of money on watermelon, we wait until it comes in season a little bit. So I bought her a watermelon yesterday, and so since I was cutting it up, I thought I would share um, some really good tricks for cutting up watermelon. Um, normally, if it's a smaller one, I do the watermelon sticks, and if it's a large one, then I'll do the cubes, but for, um, oh, turn me off. There we go. Um, so we'll wait for some people to hop on. Monique says, hi. Okay, I'll let you read comments, okay? So, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you guys, and please I'll say a little prayer that I don't absolutely accidentally chop a finger off or something like that well, on actually, live. Well, actually, we just learned first aid stuff and activities. So we can help. help. Oh, <laughs> you sorry. did just got, learn act uh, uh, Jody says hello. April says hi. Uh, Gina says hi. Christy says hi. Hi, everybody. We're so glad you joined us. Okay, we have about 100 people on. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you guys some fun tricks. So the number one trick would be I like to have a big knife. Um, if you're going to be cutting something thick like this, you definitely need something big. Um, and then make sure that you maybe have sharpened it so you're not like, <laughs> like sawing. You want like a nice sharp knife. We're going to go ahead and put this one down here, okay? <laughs> All right. So if you like these tricks, um, you can go ahead and pin them to uh, Pinterest. I have the links above where you can find the full video so you can remember it later when you actually want it. Okay, I'm going to have you scoot over just a tiny bit or I'm going to scoot over. Okay, so the first stop, a lot of times you just take the end of your well watermelon off. But what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of extra off and then we're going to do what we call watermelon sticks, which are perfect for little hands. Because what happens a lot of times is <laughs> I'll go to a family reunion or like a potluck or something like that and you cut these nice big pieces of watermelon. Little kids take like one bite out of the watermelon, the big wedge, and then they throw the rest away and it just frustrates me. So I found that it's better to have little pieces for little hands and um, adults can still totally eat them and it's more like a two bite piece but um, that works and that way we're not wasting food. Um, um. Wendy says, hello from Seattle. You ladies are adorable. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. I appreciate that. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're just going to go ahead and we're going to give it a nice oh, big Mom, chop. That always scares me. I know, it always scares you. And I have no idea if this is a good watermelon or not. You never know until you actually get inside. Ooh. Like Ooh, it looks pretty good. Okay, so then we're going to do the same thing I on this side, color. too. I don't like it when you do it's that. It's much I know, and that one went over a little bit for me. That one totally could have chopped my fingers off. So make sure your hands always on this side. I smell watermelon. Yeah, it's a good smell, huh? It's your favorite smell. Mm, Stephanie watermelon. Says, Hello from Kentucky. Well, Hi, yeah, Stephanie. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this one just off to the side a little bit. And right now we're going to worry, we're going to focus on <laughs> our, our worry. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell him worry that I'm going to accidentally. Um, chop my finger off <laughs> trying to talk and do this at the same time. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put these face down and um, these sections right on the side, they, well, we'll go ahead and leave them on there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just cut one inch sections like this. Grandma's on, Mom. And Grandma! Say hi, Grandma! Hi. <laughs> okay. Grandma knows all about having a family reunion and cutting big chunks of stuff and then having the grandkids come up, take a bite, and then throw it in the trash, right? We don't like that. So that's where we came up with the smaller pieces perfect for little hands. Okay, so then we're going to go in and we're going to, we're going to nub this little section off because that's not going to have any, um, well, but not much. See, like, look, I mean, it's, I wouldn't consider that edible. <laughs> would I any would. of you consider that edible? I would. Okay, well you can nubble on that if uh, you want. Laura says woohoo muscles. Woohoo muscles, yeah, you like these? Look at these arms. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I don't have the flag waivers quite yet, but uh, my scrawny arms definitely don't have much muscle on them. 
Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead the other way where we're kind of making a crisscross pattern. There's one on your knife. Yeah, I know, those are the ones that are scared and want to stay with me. <laughs> um, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but she says, hello from Washington, D.C. You are such a great mom. Oh, thank you. See, I just make it on Facebook every day and they make me feel good. <laughs> okay, so can you see what we have now? Look, it's a bunch of little pieces, so then all you have to do glass. is pull one out of the middle, and it is a perfect, for little hands, perfect, perfect size. <laughs> so we're just going to, and then, um, like I said, you are going to have some of the pieces on the edge that, that aren't going to have, so you can cut those off if you want and just get rid of those. Um, but then everything else is just all cubes, and they're nice. Who likes this idea? Who thinks that this is the most mind-blowing idea and you're totally going to do this at your next picnic? So if you like this idea, please share the video. Let Facebook know that you like watching the crazy A Thrifty Mom. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and throw these all in a bowl. Crystal says me and Mandy says perfect. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to throw all of our uh, watermelon sticks into the bowl. Okay, now this one's a lot shorter. Um, the other one that I cut off was about this. Now, like I said, you can do this out of the whole watermelon, but those would have been some pretty long sticks. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this middle section and we're going to turn it just into cubes. So let me show you again um, how we did this piece. And we're just going to actually chop off these sections. We're gonna, just going to cube it because um, this has a lot more of the... I want to call it bark, but that's not what it's called. Right. Rind. There we go. Rind. <coughs> Watermelon rind. rind. And as you can see, there's no waste. There's a little nubble nubble over here. <laughs> nummy, nummy. <laughs> mousy, mousy. From the party to the mousy. Saw some cheese or watermelon upon the shelf. Thought to him, him, help himself. Oh, like nubble, 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 nubble. nubble, nubble. <laughs> okay. So we have our little piece here. We're just going to cut it into one inch cubes this way. We're gonna switch it twist. We're gonna switch it that way. Debbie says love it from Tennessee. Awesome, thanks Debbie. All right, and then here we go. Ooh, perfect little watermelon numbers. Those ones are a lot smaller. Yep, yeah, these ones are short little sticky. So as you can see, it's just however long you cut your section. So if you maybe cut them a little bit shorter, you can cut them a little bit fatter. But they're the perfect little bite-sized pieces to a picnic um, for kids. Okay, so there's our watermelon sticks. Okay, we'll put those here. Maybe I'll stick a couple of them up on the... Um... Debbie says great ideas. Thank you, Debbie. Okay, so there's our watermelon sticks. Okay, that's what those look like. Okay. Now we're going to take our core of our watermelon. Core. Core. How do you spell core? I don't know. <laughs> we actually need to practice our spelling words, don't we? Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to make cubes. And these are perfect for if you're going to be making skewers or if you want to do like a fruit bowl or something like that. This is an easy way to core the whole thing. Now, if you didn't want to do the watermelon sticks or nubs um, first, all you would do is you would just take just the edges off. So if this was our whole watermelon, we would cut just that white part off, just the end, just enough to where we have a flat surface for our watermelon to sit. Yes? Uh, um, Manis Flake says, hey, we are having watermelons tonight. <laughs> woo, woo, Amanda, let me know how it goes. Take a picture and post it and show me how your watermelon sticks go. Okay, so but I'll show you how to make cubes now. Okay, let's see what else do we have. Um, Erlene says, I think I missed something in the beginning while you were cutting the sticks. Well, we'll have to watch the video for sure, but the end result looks cool. Uh, it's really hot in Trinidad these days, and that's really cool treat for the little homeschooler and even the big kids. Woo! Hi from Trinidad! Do you have an extra bedroom there? Yeah, my husband wants to know if we can come visit in Trinidad. <laughs> Do you want us and our group of seven? Or heck, we can leave the kids home and just come visit you. And I'll cut your watermelon for you. <laughs> yeah. um, um, Grandma says 
says Hannah wanted me to tell you hi. Hi, Hannah! I hope your prom went good. Oh, hey! And everybody, I went and I got the floral tape so we can show everybody how to make the corsages. I know we've had, not corsages, the boutonnieres. I know we've had lots of requests for that video since that video shut down. So probably this weekend, I still, I need to actually go get the flowers. But um, I did get the floral tape for it and stuff, so stay tuned. We should be having that video come. Uh, Cynthia says, great ideas for the summer here. Dawn says, great ideas. I love that the girls are loving doing this with you. Cherish times. Oh, thanks. I know, they're getting big too quick. And Arlene says, I think, oh, oh yeah. she already got that one. Okay, <laughs> so yes, if you missed the first part of the video on how to make watermelon sticks, just share this video to your timeline. Um, on Facebook to share it, like it, and then, well, if you share it, then once the video's over, you can go back and you can watch it again and you can see the trick. Or I linked to how to do this in the comments, up at the t I mean, in the title of the video, and that will actually send you to our blog where we've taken still pictures of how to do this, and um, we'll show you how to do it. Okay, yeah. Emma also really likes watermelon. Emma does. Yeah. I think, Mad does Madeline like it this year? Yeah. Yeah, she does. She's pretty happy. It's your first. Madeline, come here. Come see the watermelons. Okay, so back to how to do cubes. So what we're going to do now is we're actually just going to cut um, off the section like this. And there's just a tiny, tiny hint of pink. If you want, pass it off to Kid and she will happily eat the pink. That first section is kind of the hardest one. So now you're going to take your knife and you're just going to curve down. And can you kind of see how I made like a curved piece from that? And then each curve that you do, you're going to just take off what you're, we're just taking off the white rind. Does that make sense? Melon, hi. 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 What do you show everyone your watermelon? That num nums? See how perfect those are for little hands? Num nums, okay, go be with daddy so I don't accidentally cut your finger off when I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Normally I let her help me, but not when I'm trying to do videos and cut watermelon. Okay, so I'm just going to keep rotating the watermelon around. And each time, like I said, we're taking off the strip of white and the strip of green. And as we do that, we're exposing the red all the way around. Uh, Arlene says... Uh, sounds great. My family of six will love it. <laughs> Does that mean we're going to Trinidad? Is that what she's saying? <laughs> so, I grew up on a dairy farm and we never traveled. Well, I mean, we would go up to the mountains for the day. We would have to feed and milk the cows before we went. And then we'd have to spend the day up there and then we'd have to come back and do chores and milk and stuff. So, we haven't traveled much, but as I've married my husband and as the vlog has taken us different places. We have traveled more and more, and I discovered that I actually really like it. But um, it gets a little spindy, and it's too kind of hard to do with a family of seven. So we tend to do it more, our big traveling, when we're just by ourselves. Um, and it's really important, I found, for husbands and wives to just kind of take some time without kids to remember that you actually love each other. <laughs> because as much as I love my kids all the time, sometimes I forget that uh, we like just spending just time alone, too. Okay, so we're almost done here. And like I said, there's just ever so slightly this pink piece. I mean, so there's, really, there's hardly any waste when you do it this way. You can, you're really just taking off the part. And if my mom was here, um, we would totally be giving these rhymes to the chickens or the horses. But since I live in the city... Or not the city, I mean it's like the suburbs, but um, we don't have an outdoor animals that will eat these, eat this. So then as you kind of go around, you can then take off these, you know, just like the little bit of white part. Um, yeah. What? Somebody said, I'm late coming on, what are we making? Um, we, <coughs> you can share the video so you can see how to make it the first part. But the first part of the video, we showed you how to make watermelon sticks by taking the ends of the watermelon off and then um, cutting it into cubes and making the whole watermelon turns into all these cute little watermelon sticks. There's a hair on there. I'll pull it off. <laughs> Evidently we need to wear hair nets next time we chop in our kitchen. Good thing we're not a commercial kitchen, huh? Okay, and then so right now I'm going to show you guys how to cube a, um, a whole watermelon. Okay, so we just took the rind off the whole watermelon. Now we're going to 
flip it on its side like this and we're going to once again cut it into one inch cubes or however big a piece okay. you want. Jody says this is so neat. Thanks Jody. Okay so we have our one inch so now it's kind of like a steak. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. See how each one is cut into a... Like a steak? Well I mean it's we've cut it um, it's like a ham. They're stuck yeah, together. It's like a ham, okay? So we got it there. Okay, so now we're going to put it back flat down and we're going to cut it this way. Um, and if you need to watch the video a few times to see how to do it, share it to your page and then that way when you get ready to cut your next watermelon, um, you can watch it again. Okay, so then we're going to cut it all this way. Then we're going to rotate it like this. Yes. Uh, somebody said your knife slicing is so easy. What kind is it? This is a Rachel Ray knife. Um, it's the Rachel Ray, Ray Fury. Um, Matt, do you want to link to that? It comes in like a set of three or I have actually comes, in the kitchen block back there. It comes with like the little knives and the bright knives and serrated knives and stuff too. Okay, so um, the, the key to these is I sharpen my knives probably at least once a week. I just use a knife sharpener like this that you just sharpen them. And I've had these knives for I think eight years. I think maybe I've only seven. I've used them so, many, so much that a lot of them are half the time in the dishwasher. Yeah. So anyway, great knife. I think the set is normally around 30 bucks. And like I said, I've had it forever. Yeah, well that's the knife block one. And then I also have another one that is um, where's my grandma says we don't have chickens and horses anymore but you have Molly and that is just as good. <laughs> yeah I have Molly who eats all my waste. Okay so we rotated it so we cut it this we cut it this way. Okay and then we cut it this way. And now we're gonna cut it that this way. Oh, right now it's only 15 bucks. Woohoo! So we'll link to that. We'll put our Amazon link up there. They're really nice knives. And you see how these are just. You mommy! Woo! That's okay, eat them off the floor. <laughs> we won't serve them to guests, but I'll serve them to my children. Uh, Sophia says, What y'all doing? We are we're just showing everybody how to perfectly cube a whole watermelon. Okay, so do you see how that worked? Everything turned into little cubes, and they're all the same size, and they're all cubed. Well, not all of them. Well, some of the edges are slightly off. So, like, see, this was an edge, so it's going to be, one. it's not going to be a perfect cube. But close yeah. enough that it totally works for, can you pick those up off the floor, sweetie, and just eat them? Um, and they, so at this point now, if you wanted to do, like, a fruit kebab, um, if you wanted to do grapes or strawberries or something like that, they're just like all the same shape and super easy to, um, which if you're going to be doing a fruit kebab, you probably would have done oh, you actually more than just home. fruit. Yeah. Okay, so see that? Mind blown, huh? Fun, crazy. Okay. Works for Malia, uh, Debbie says. Christina says, looks yummy. And Maria says, this is a great idea. We'll try it next time. And Cameron says, uh, this is a great idea. We'll try it next time. Oh, Cameron says, you girls are beautiful. Camara. Oh, Camara. I love your videos. And Rebecca says, you girls are beautiful. And we love, uh, sorry, it scrolls so fast on those ones. It's hard. Uh, so anyway, we thanks, everybody. <laughs> so it's such a, like, such a fun, easy trick that um, makes cutting watermelon so much easier. So we have the cubes like this. And like I said, these are more for yeah, the, the fruit for fruit salad or if you yeah. <laughs> you almost <laughs> you almost stabbed me with your <laughs> yeah, no 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 no. <laughs> okay here. Why don't you just call it quits because otherwise um, you're gonna go Yeah Don says do you have tricks for pineapples? Um, I do, but I just don't have a pineapple to chop up for you. Uh, we'll do another video. Um, I actually had never really had a fresh pineapple until I married my husband. And because we didn't buy fresh pineapple. Mom, if you're still on, do you ever remember buying a fresh pineapple in your life? I'm pretty sure we never have. 
Um, Bonnie says, yeah, pineapple tricks. And so um, I had to, my husband had to teach me how to cut a pineapple. But um, I can cut it, but then there's this also this gadget that we had that you put on the top and then you whirl it around and it like perfectly cuts and spirals of pineapple. So maybe I'll do a video on that next time I get a pineapple. Um, you still have it? Uh, Debbie asked, where is the link for the knives? Uh, can you list the link in the knives again, please, Matt? If you scroll down in the comments, it, it is there. Okay. Um, but yeah. And then, uh, pineapples get me every time. Yeah, we'll have to do a pineapple video. And Rebecca says strawberry tricks. Strawberry tricks. Ooh, we do have, and you know what? <gasps> Ooh, I love doing that! We have some fun strawberry tricks, too. We're gonna have, okay, we'll do, I don't have... <laughs> Fruit it's, salad video. <laughs> fruit salad. <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> fruit salad. <laughs> Ten points to whoever can tell me who sings that. <laughs> yummy, 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 yummy. Fruit salad. <laughs> fruit salad. <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> who sings that? Tell me. Ten points to whoever sings it. It's uh. So anyway, yes, we have some really cool tricks for pine uh for strawberries. What? I just linked this one. Oh, okay, we just uh, linked. Katrina says wiggles. Yep, Katrina, you're the winner. Woo! <laughs> we love the wiggles in our house. Uh, <laughs> my son, who's 14 and has special needs, after, when he was little, um, the wiggles was like the only thing he actually liked. And after his heart surgeries, it was like one of the only things that would calm him down. And so after heart surgery and he was finally stable, we would turn the wiggles on for him. So the wiggles for me are like a piece of calm for me. Fruit salad. We have lots of people. Could, yeah, I can't say wiggles. Carriema? Car 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 Katrina? Car oh, Katrina. There we go. Well, lot, lots of people knew the wiggles. Okay. Yep. Um, Adia? Adia? Adia says, my favorite shows growing up. And Debbie says, the link isn't working. The wiggles sing it. Um, I wonder if the link doesn't work until maybe the video's over. I know sometimes live feeds are a little weird um, about how they work, but maybe you could post it. Yeah, we can post it again. We can try to get it on there. So yeah, oh, so back to strawberries. So strawberries, if you take a, a thick like smoothie straw, like a smoothie straw is a little bit bigger around and stiffer than normal. Okay, people said they can't open the link. So I think the link will work after we're... Okay. Did you put it up on the description? Well, no, I will after. Okay, after the video's over, we'll put the link to the knives and the cutter up in the description. Uh, Allison o says, oh no, it's paused. It's paused. Oh no. Mom. Well, hopefully we come back. What? Okay, after five. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so if, we t if you take a strawberry, if you take a, um, a straw and then go up the strawberry, and it will like pop the core up. Okay, so here's the plan. Probably not tomorrow. So tomorrow we're doing our live video. I mean, our hey, live mommy and me paint night. Where is the um, <coughs> Batman project we're doing? I think it's in the back room. Can you go grab it? Um, tomorrow night at 6 p.m. we're doing our mommy and me paint night. So we would love it if you guys could join us. Um, Saturday, I think we're going to do a melted crayon project. It's going to be really fun to so join us for that. And then we also need to announce the winner. We're going to hop on and announce the winners to our vitamin package and our Manuka honey package. So if you haven't entered those yet, um, look on the sidebar of our page and um, go under videos and look for the Manuka honey giveaway and the vitamin giveaway. All you have to do is leave a comment and we'll go on there and we'll tally everything in live and it's always fun when the winner joins us live. So we have those videos coming up Sunday. We're probably not gonna do a video so maybe Monday, Tuesday, we can do another fruit video. We can um, get some strawberries. Yeah, we strawberries some, are my favorite. Strawberries, pineapples, any other fruit tri tips someone wants me to show them? Um, thanks for putting the link up, Dawn says. Anna says, took my girls to the Wiggles concert when they were little, and they loved the Wiggles. I love the Wiggles, too. Okay, so here's our Mommy and Me paint night that we're doing tomorrow. Who loves Batman? Who's going to be joining us? The boys are going to be cleaning it. Apples. Okay, I do have a fun trick for apples. I can show you that one too. It's a great way to core them without having to pick them up and put them in your hands to core them. Um, Adora says, my little sister Beverly and I say hi from Everton, Washington. Hi, Adora, and hello, little sister. 
Okay, yeah. Dawn says, what? Uh, this is so much fun. A breath of fresh air seeing kids with their mom having fun. <laughs> That's good. Tomorrow we're going to be painting these, although she's going to be at a birthday party. Are you going to paint with me? Yeah. Okay, so I want to paint one for my teacher because she loves Batman. Okay, so we'll be painting. She actually came up with this project. She did this one all on her own and asked if we could do it as a mommy me paint night. And so then I came up with, this was my version of it. So if you, Matt, can you link to the Mommy Me Paint Night in here? Because um, you will need to, if you want to follow us along, I can tell you all the supplies you need. And if you didn't know already, these are just painted on the back of cereal boxes. Can I paint on a canvas Because we're a thrifty mom. Yep. Or we're going to show you how to paint on a canvas, too. Um, and we have links to those canvases. So um, you can either freehand the Batman, or you can use the stencil, which uh, we have a link to on the site. Freehand and stencil. So. so Suzanne says cantaloupe, please. We don't have any cantaloupe that's ripe yet, but we, that will be a good one to do. This summer. Um, oh, yeah, this book. summer when we get a little bit. But if I find some cantaloupe at watermelon, that watermelon, at, at Costco watermelon. that looks like it's ripe, then um, I can get some. It's, I, it's hard to do. Um, Mom. You can dive into watermelon and find a stove of cantaloupe? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, Costco. Oh, and I'm not sure how this one's going to turn out yet. This was my, um, this is our, <laughs> it's that's because it's still stuck to the thing I was painting on. But this is probably going to be next week's Mommy and Me paint night. It's not done yet. Um, I think I'm going to do like a dark silhouette of something on here. I'm not sure if it will be like a flower or maybe just some polka dots. But this is next week's Mommy and Me paint night. It'll probably actually be on a Saturday, though. Ooh, or um, because I have uh, an activity that night with my son at the school. So I need to be with him for it. But this will be next week's. And like I said, this project's not done yet. i got to finish it tonight. But this is tomorrow's Mommy and Me paint night. Amanda says, we love Batman, but my boys will be going to their father and son's camp out. And we will have to watch it um, on Saturday. Okay, so Amanda, just hop on. Um, if you're there, and you can share it to your page, Wait, or Mom. you can just come back to our, and then you... Amanda Flake? Yeah, Colby's mom. Oh, oh say Colby. hi, Colby. Hi. Emily says, super cute Batman. My son would think, uh, love that, and I think that we need to do that for him. Yeah, hop on tomorrow. We would love to have you. All you need for this project is either a cereal box or a canvas, black paint, gray paint, white paint, and yellow and a brush and then I can give you the link to this so it's super super easy um, our video we probably will paint it in about 30 minutes the video we normally paint it twice that way people that hop on halfway through can kind of get the refresher course <laughs> and um, anyway we would love you guys to join us uh, let's see uh, Don says what okay all right well I think we're probably going to end this. i got to finish making dinner. Hey, honey, if you throw the watermelon in the bowl, it bruises it. So let's just slightly place it in the bowl. So if you missed our watermelon tricks earlier on how to make perfect cute, uh, watermelon sticks for little hands, uh, we showed you that video. Um, just save this to your page, and then as soon as we're done in about five minutes, it will load itself up and you can rewatch it. And then with the rest of it, we showed you how to make perfectly cubed watermelon. So thank you, and we'll probably be back tomorrow. Oh, we will be back tomorrow for sure. We'll be back tomorrow to paint our Batmans. And um, Saturday we're going to do the melted crayons and the live giveaways. And we have some other fun stuff. But thanks again for joining us. We love you guys for watching. And if you could do me a favor, if you guys wouldn't mind, um, you can either hit the subscribe button in the top corner. Um, and that will give you a little ding to let you know when our page, uh, when our live videos go live. Um, um, Gina says, what time? What time tomorrow? Oh, good, good question, Gina. Uh, tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Or 8 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, or 8 p.m. Eastern. Yep. Um, any other questions before I hop off? We'll give you, there is like a slight delay, so I'll give you guys just a couple seconds. Meanwhile, Malia has fingered and smeared her hands off of every piece of watermelon <laughs> to make sure that she gets all of it. But, uh, alright, did you want to keep them on the kebabs? Yeah, no, no. Oh, you want to keep them on the kebabs? Okay. 
All right. We have some boys here that want to eat some watermelons. Not, not on the bob. Not on the bob. Not on the kebab, huh? Not Laura the said, oh, well, let's see, Laura. Okay. <coughs> All right. Mommy, look at how fat I'm lying hop on one foot. <laughs> we have talent show. Okay, I think we're about done, guys. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you tomorrow for our Mommy and Me Paint Night. Uh, Bye! Please don't forget to leave the knives. Thank you. Yes, we're doing that right now. Okay. Uh, Maverick, can you hit that red button? Mommy can't reach it. Can you I did it last time. I know. Can you push the red button for me?